kidneys. Damn time machine! I can't see a thing. Ah, that's better. What a beautiful day. Only a mild smattering of pigeons. Gavin must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. Ha-ha! <laughs> my Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs a breeze. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> Plastic pile of rubbish. Where's Gavin? He should be here to hand me my telegrams. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. I've been telegram spammed. <gasps> A message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. Sir, is that you? <clears throat> Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Good morning, Mr. Fidel. Ah, there you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. My grandfather had a massive clock. Just some artifacts I picked up on my travels. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. Oh, there you are, Bertram. Good morning, dear heart. It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be. I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram, caviar doesn't 
don't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. Don't cry. I'm sure there is an adventure just around the corner. 